So, deleted scenes is something every show has, and we know Power have a lot of deleted scenes, and version of events which would give us a lot more depth to certain characters, and possibly give us a different perspective to some storylines. But when it comes to these scenes, sometimes the actors themselves don't even know themselves which final scene will make the cut. And one of the deleted scenes Courtney Kemp spoke of in one of her Q&As was how Tariq went back to Brayden's house to get the images of Rick Sweeney, which he gave to Rashad Tate just before he took the stand, because we all know Brayden was dead set against Tariq using them because of the backlash he would have had for his family. Now he also had an encounter with the maid, and Tariq was able to cleverly navigate using his words as we've seen him do so on so many occasions. So that was one of the deleted scenes involving Tariq St. Patrick, but in this video we're going to focus on two deleted scenes and events that played out from Brayden's character. There's one from Power where he had a run-in with Tommy, and one more recent which he revealed on his podcast with Michael Rainey Jr., which makes more sense as to why he took the stand and not Trace, but also how he could give us a hint as to who Brayden has now become and what we can expect from him in Season 3. But let's talk about the deleted scene from Power first. Now, Brayden only had a handful of scenes in power where he met Tariq at Chode and we saw them build a bond and where they started to work together to move product. Brayden was also there so Tariq could in essence remain a ghost behind the scenes. But Effie forced her way into the picture because she threatened to turn them in. Of course, she had her own ulterior motive, but we saw this trio beginning to form which is something we've now become familiar with on Power Book 2 Ghost. But we saw Tariq stealing pills from Tommy's warehouse and supplying Vincent and when Tommy found out, he headed straight to Chode to speak to Tariq. And this is probably where the deleted scene between Tommy and Brayden would have been in Season 6. So what, you a big drug dealer, man, now? Nah? Oh, fuck. This is my shit. So from Gianni and Michael's podcast and from a comment on Instagram which he replied to on one of my posts, he said he had a deleted scene with Tommy in Season 6. Tommy told him, get the fuck out Bieber. And it definitely sounds like when Tommy went to visit Tariq after Vincent told him who he was getting his product from. So that's the running that could have been between Tommy and Brayden. But let's talk about more current events and something which could have added another layer to Brayden's character in Power Book 2 Ghost. Now, Gianni explained how there was a scene which they filmed with Brayden coming back to his room, putting a gun under his bed in a safe, and as he was leaving, this is the moment Trace walked in, and as Trace walked in, he tells Brayden, I'm testifying because your home is fucked up, meaning Tariq of course, and we all know Trace has never liked Tariq from the beginning. But when Trace came in and told him he was testifying and Tariq is fucked up, Brayden broke down in tears and told Trace, listen, if you do this, but I don't think Brayden was able to finish his sentence or reason with Trace and he walks out. And the reason Brayden broke down was because he knows the consequences of the game. If Trace testified and snitched, then he would have been a dead man walking. So there was this real raw emotion where Brayden broke down and punched a baby picture of him and Trace because this is who Brayden had become. And I think he knew what he was becoming along with Trey started to realize who Brayden was. So that was the deleted scene between Brayden and Trace which never made the final take, which by the sounds of it probably would have been in episode 9 after Trace agreed to testify against Tariq St. Patrick and after Effie did what she did. So with Trace willing to testify against Tariq, Brayden knew he couldn't let that happen, but this really would have added that extra layer to Brayden's character development and depth to a character who was now realizing the consequences of the game he was in, and he knew his brother Trace was in some serious trouble because he wasn't afraid to speak his mind about being taken by Kane in season 1 and thrown on the corner of Queens because the evidence was also there to back up his case. So Brayden wasn't about to sit back and let Trace testify because if anything happened to him, he'd probably blame himself, but Tariq did warn him. I mean, what the fuck you even do this shit for, B? People out here dying and going to jail because they literally have no other option. I chose this life just like you, okay? I'm and both of them really did make good arguments. And we can look at this from both of their perspectives. Tariq was right, this game is no joke because you can either end up dead or in jail. But they did both choose to be in the game and Tariq definitely needed to hear that from someone. So they both needed to hear what each other had to say. And luckily they were able to patch things up later on in episode 6 thanks to Effie. But because of what Tariq went through and learning about the murders and helping Kane move the body of Ramirez, he was becoming aware of the consequences. So it was no surprise he took the stand instead of Trace to protect him because he got full immunity regardless of whether he was the CEO of course correct, on paper anyway. 
But the Trace and Brayden relationship is going to be interesting because Trace is still someone who knows a lot of information and we all know how dangerous that can be in the world of power. And although Brayden was able to save Tariq and his own brother Trace on this occasion in Season 2, who's to say he won't be put in a similar situation again in Season 3? And someone who I can see putting him in this position is Kane. Kane is always someone who's on Brayden and pushing him to do shit, but this time it really could be a life or death situation and then Brayden really would have arguably the biggest decision he's ever had to make. Because as they say in the 48 Laws of Power, any situation beyond your control is dangerous and Trace Weston knowing all this information is someone who can't be controlled because who knows what he's gonna say at any given time which is why he is one of my death predictions for season 3 along with Ev and one of the Tahadas and at this moment I'm gonna go with Lorenzo. But on Brayden, there was this whole Lauren situation where he was forced to kill her but Effie took this decision out of his hands because she knew Brayden didn't have what it takes after their conversation. She was also saving Brayden from turning into a monster himself because she knows once you kill, you can never go back. But Brayden already is on this dark path and Gianni did tease Brayden is just getting darker and darker and deeper into the game. I think season 3 is Brayden's coming out to party for who he really is, you're gonna see, I'm telling you. So just like we're seeing an evolution of Drew's character which I went through in this video, we're somewhat seeing a similar development with Brayden, just slower because Brayden's background and upbringing is completely different to someone like Drew who grew up in the game where his whole family is built around crime and the streets and now we're seeing a more ruthless, cold and savage side to Drew with the way he killed Kino and Lil Guap. Of course, he has his own weakness which is Ev and Brayden also has his weaknesses. But regardless, his character is definitely ready to take it to the next level and they've laid the foundation in Season 2 with his rebellious ways with Kane and him showing he has what it takes to be down for whatever, whenever, apart from getting his first kill which I do think will come in Season 3. But there is going to be one big change when it comes to Brayden next season. He no longer lives with Tariq because his father removed him from Stansfield after everything that went down in court and he put him to work in one of his hedge funds on Wall Street but he can definitely make this work in his favour because this could be their avenue into the real world of business and they also need a new way to clean their money because course correct is officially dead. But this could also turn upside down when and if Tariq finds out the truth about what happened with Lauren because he did put his trust in Brayden to get her out of town safely but Kane and Effie both cornered him to do what needed to be done and now he holds a secret of what happened to Lauren but that's a breakdown of a couple of the deleted scenes and one which would have really given Brayden a lot more character development and depth but hopefully something we see more of in season 3. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on what's next for Brayden. So drop all your thoughts down below and of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything power book 2 ghosts and power universe related but as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time